This is Teen Takeaways. I'm Reagan. I'm Eddie. I'm Jerry. I'm Benoit. I'm Sawyer. And today we will be ranking horror movies. So we have a list here on my phone. How should we rank them? Uh, I, I said we do 10 point scale. Yes. No. Oh. 10, 10 point scale? Like individually rank, yes. like blank out of 10. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh man. I mean, <laughs> huh. what, do you, what do you like about the movie? Uh, I like how it like deconstructs the horror genre, it just kind of pokes fun at it, and I think the characters are really relatable, some mm. of them. It's a good watch. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really it's entertaining. Really it's really entertaining. So, like, are we, like, talking, like, Halloween movies here or horror movies? Because, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, the, the Batman can be considered a great a great Halloween movie. I mean, there's, like, that whole intro sequence where it's, like, you know, whatever. Oh. Yeah, eh. yeah. It's like ho- Halloween horror movies. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's we just, have our list. Okay, is it horror movies? God Stick to our list. Stick to our list. Language, young man. Okay, so... I, I think for Scream, I feel like you kind of need to watch other horror movies before you watch Scream because you'll appreciate That's it a lot it more. Be as yeah, because like there's there's a lot of movies on this list that aren't I wouldn't really consider true horror movies. Like um, A Quiet Place is like a thriller. Um, Hereditary is kind of the same way. They're yeah. they're hor- yeah. they have aspects of horror, but they have aspects of other genres. So yeah. they're not like Midsummer is another good example. Like they don't necessarily follow all the beats on. Um, yeah. Typical horror movies. Yeah. Should we give individual rankings and then do an average? So yes. I gotta ask, like so some of these horror movies. Yeah. Some of, some of these movies, if you read them, like I don't know which ones, but like uh-huh. they say based on a true story. Mm-hmm. They're not based. They're on not a true based. Story. All right, we're, okay, we're, we're yeah. good here. Yeah, they're not. Because whenever I talk to friends and they say and it's just based on a true story, they'll 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 give me like a whole debate about wh- how why it actually is. Actually, I'm pretty sure it took place for real. <laughs> I mean, no, 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 I I, no, no the, clown, the clown's real. That, that, that totally happened. Yeah. It could be based on like a general thing, yeah. Yeah. but it's what not. We, what the do we think story. about that? Do we, do we actually think that like that stuff is based on, on true fiction, like true facts? Of you know, sorry, it has to come from somewhere. It, 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 it should. It, yeah. That's true. That's I think true. every story has like some level of truth to it. Not because every single Conjuring movie they'll say based on true story, but are they really based on true story, or that's just like the direct? Don't hit that because you're gonna mess up the movie. Yeah, I think they're probably just trying to make it. Well, actually, a quiet place is actually Ed and going on. Lauren some Warren, on the planet, like the actually. Conjuring people, like they built their entire thing off the Conjuring movies because all their stories. Whoa. Yeah, they make up those stories and then they'll get <laughs> shebang yeah. money. Yeah, yeah, so it's based on a true story because they actually investigated those things. Yeah. They made up. They made up their story. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so back to back to Scream. Yes, let's go give a ranking. What, what do you think about Scream? I'll give it a solid eight. I'll give it an eight. Okay, you. Probably like a six point seven five. I think I'm gonna go eight. I think I'm gonna go six. I'm gonna agree with Reagan. Eight. Uh, okay. You sweet. can guys average that up. Show it up there. It. Whatever you want. Annabelle. Annabelle comes home. Haven't seen it. I don't think anyone's seen it. Um, <laughs> nice. I saw the I've original Annabelle, and like some parts of it, there's a couple of like cheap jump scares. It's not good. I'm not a huge fan of doll horror movies. I just think they're kind of like... Yeah. You know what? Well, the, the first boy movie was good. Like, The Boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, so, like, I'll, I'll just give my rating. Spoiler. So, the closest thing I've actually seen to Annabelle is Shazam, when, like, the doll appears in it for, like, two seconds. Uh, and so, 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 like... I see. So, oh, so, like, yeah. the, because of the same director. Yeah, because, yeah. like, the same director who directs Shazam is, like, the guy who directs, like, uh, huh. Annabelle. So, so, I'm just going to give it the same rating I'd, I'd give Shazam. I'd say, like, uh, three and a half stars out of five. Oof. Okay, we're going okay. out of 10. I thought we were going out of 10, but okay. But if we're Just screw the scale, right? Yeah, so be 7.5 out of 10. 7.5 out of 10. That, that's well, the rating I gave Shazam, though. Annabelle? For Shazam, that's going to go to Annabelle. We're not well, we're going to Shazam. Annabelle. 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 Okay, I, have, I haven't seen Annabelle. So, 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 I'll just so just say so nothing. Don't don't right. oh, okay, gotcha. I, I knew, you know, I knew coming on to this show that I would completely mess it up. <laughs> no, no, you're, you're good. <laughs> no, it's, okay. this is, it's, it's chill. chill. This is like my big break. Um, Annabelle, I rate it a 1 out of 10 because I'm nice. Oh. I haven't seen the movie, so I'm going to give it an N.A. As me as well. I'm just going to say I agree with you again. All right. I'm going to say a Quiet Place. Okay. I really like this movie. This is probably one of the most original ideas for a movie I've ever seen. Like that, the use of sign language. It's like the first time I've actually seen that like yeah. become really effective. And having an actually deaf actor, mm-hmm. really yeah. cool. Really, cutting really, out the really sound cool. at some point. Did it really? really and well. you guys, guess what her name is? Emily Blunt. It's Reagan. Oh. No way. Did you say Emily Blunt? <laughs> <laughs> actually, I'm Emily Blunt. Okay, so. I can see it. You Blonde wish. Blonde hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
I mean, if I get, what's his name? John Krasinski? If I get him as a husband, that's a win. <laughs> so, what do we rate? Honestly, like I'll give it a six. I, I'm gonna give it an It's 8. original, 5. I just don't like rewatching it. I like, oh. I think 8.5. I'll go 5. 8. I think the shock factor when they, like, immediately take out Kill the little kids. kid. Yeah. Both. So, I respect it. I'm I'm say give it oh. oh, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 no go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, Benoit. All right, all right. I like a 7.5. All right, good job. Okay, good enough. We're Thank so proud you. of you, Benoit. All right, so um, I actually have, I kind of technically sort of seen this movie. I, I Actually, I watched the movie recaps of it. So, uh, <laughs> okay. Thing, so you basically I, know so the I just consider you an expert on it. Yeah. So okay. I actually, just, I actually kind of watched like, I don't know, I, let's just say I watched like a summarized, sped up version of the movie, and let's just say from that line, I give it like an 8. All right. Okay. Sweet. Okay, Midsommar. This is like Midsommar. I love that movie. I'm it's, actually it's really excited to talk about this movie. I love that movie. Yeah, it's, it is a real like it's good. O- obviously like A24 films are like peak. my bread and They're butter. Like that's absolutely. like absolutely the peak of cinema right now. But this movie, it, it's very interesting because it's like I feel like in order to appreciate it, you have to actually like really be into like filmmaking. Because yeah. like what really stands out to me about that film is the editing and the cinematography. The cinematography is really impressive. It like there's this one shot I can think of where like Florence Pugh has all these flowers on her. Oh, no, in the, yeah. yeah, it's a pug actually. One of the best shots I've ever seen. Like okay. it is absolutely breathtaking. Um, I think the plot drags a little bit. Um, the beginning it, it's pretty slow. Like you don't really get your first like horror moment until like an hour into the movie, which might be a turnoff for some people. But if you're willing to like, kind of appreciate a different take on horror, I, th- I think it's a really yeah. good watch. I mean, I think having the horror come so late in the movie um, is what makes Midsummer. I mean, the suspense, especially with the soundtrack, which yeah. is so jarring, you just feel so uncomfortable the whole movie, and you don't even really know why. And I think that really ties into like the whole cult it's a good uh, part of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you don't really know why it feels so wrong, but it does. And and then once it finally starts getting actually like more of a horror movie, it, it kind of comes together nicely. But yeah, I think the suspense is really what makes that movie. I feel like rewatchability. Yeah. It's so good because then there's also so many things in like the background that yeah. you didn't catch the first time yeah. and like that whole tapestry scene in the beginning is like the whole movie and you don't even know that until you rewatch it and I just oh and then it like manages to be creepy while it's like mainly bright outside yeah. so it yeah. like has that atmosphere which is like it's kind of overexposed when you watch it mm-hmm. like everything the sky is really bright all the characters it, it, it kind of looks like a commercial in some parts where it's just like all like blown up and like yeah. wait isn't that is, okay I, I, I'm gonna be honest I know it's a weird comparison it's a commercial I have like zero clue what you guys have talked about but isn't that like the movie where they, they like eat a baby or something like that okay no so, <laughs> what are we rating no. um, <laughs> what are you watching well, okay so, so, so I'm gonna give that NA or and also okay. I'm, just, I'm just gonna say I agree with Reagan okay thank you here you go I'll give it a solid nine hmm <laughs> I don't know. It's it's hard for me to rank this movie because of the, it's. I feel like it doesn't really traditionally fit into like any of these categories. But for me personally, I think it's an eight point five. I'm gonna go nine. I'll go eight point seven. And I I agree with Reagan. Thank you. All right, sweet. Nightmare on Elm Street, the classic. Uh, I feel like jump scare at the end is pretty bad. It's okay. I mean, it, they, it comes out of nowhere. So if we're gonna talk I about tried. like, so if we're gonna talk about like tried. the entire franchise as like a whole, no, but no, it, it, no, it no. says it first movie. It says specific. But yeah. well, let's forget the rules for a second. If we talk about the entire franchise as a whole, <laughs> it completely just kind of, it, <laughs> yeah, falls it falls flat. Off. It falls off at the end. Like they they, they go full on Looney Tunes at the end. Like the last one where it's like Freddy and like he's like killing a kid in like an arcade game or something like that. And the, I don't know. It's super weird. I don't. I don't understand this movie. I think I, the I, interesting thing about the first one is that it's such a relatable concept because, yeah. like, with other killers, you can like avoid them at some point. There's always some solution, but everyone goes to sleep at some point. I think is what really is what is really interesting about this one. So you can't just run away from them. You're gonna go to sleep at some point. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree. Sleepy. Yeah. It, it is like Freddy Krueger's for very good reason one of the most terrifying like mm-hmm. horror figures. It's gross. And like that movie. And like just the concept of Freddy Krueger himself, I think is like really, like, good horror. Yeah, like it's I just agree. Quality I think horror. he has I a really good agree. like background. Mm-hmm. It just yeah. makes it compelling. But I think the movies themselves do kind of drag. <laughs> I feel like they try to like after like the first one, they they try to market him off just way too much. Like yeah, they did like the spin off and like, like an icon. He they made like a spin off. They did like Freddy versus Jason, which not, which was like 50-50. And then like I just think I just think honestly like the first one's pretty good. So I'll, I'll give that like a seven. 
Later on, the kills get more entertaining to watch, though. Yeah. They they, he's really That's inventive with it. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. He has, like, the one kill where... The, some of the kills get goofy. Like, he kills a kid in, like, an arcade game or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So goofy. Or, like, he'll, he'll, he'll like, a... What's, what's the one he like? He does like the whole puppet thing. That's sick. Oh, that, that was, was sick. Cool. That was really impressive. I like. We, we, we know. I really like though. This is a really good one. I liked. There's a there is a Wes Craven's New things. Nightmare, which is based off of like. Oh, it's, it was like it was like takes place in the real world. It's like based off of like the crew of Nightmare on Elm Street. From there's Nightmare on Elm Street making a movie, with like the act. It's 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 a really weird mm-hmm. concept, but that was pretty cool because it kind of just kind of like showed the kind of deconstruction it's of really all the metal. kills. Yeah. It's pretty meta. Really good. meta. Okay, let's go ratings. Oof, seven out of ten. Okay, we have a seven. Leaving mm. bias out of it like an eight point five. I'm gonna give it an eight. I'll go seven and a half. I'm gonna go like five. Mm. Mm. Can you explain uh, your five? Yeah. I I just I think Freddy Krueger is cool, but the movies just don't really do it for me. Yeah. Yeah. I respect that. Simple Valid. as that. I, I, Johnny yeah. Depp was in one, right? Yeah, he, he was, was. In the first yeah. one. He had the best kill in that one. Okay, that's the remake or the mm, remake. The remake. One, another one is like four hours. Yeah, it's tough to watch. It's, it's, All right. it's both of them. I, I, this is the one movie I've seen on this list. I can actually okay. don't talk about. Okay, don't, don't hesitate. Do don't. Yeah. Okay. So, so like, here's the thing about it. So, so I, I like when I first heard about Relies, What the hell are you doing? Okay. okay yeah. Okay. Put your hand Just continue, yeah. dude. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so basically, what I think about it is oh, like girl. essentially here. Here's here's the thing with it. So, I like the the remake. Talk about the remake, by the way. So, so like the thing with it is essentially like I, when I first heard about it, I saw like the whole like sewer scene like that that like first five minutes in the movie that is good it's good but then after that I just feel like it falls flat like it, it just becomes a montage of Pennywise scaring these kids and then not doing anything with them until like the third act and it just feels like it just becomes like it just kind of comes like bland and basic. I have to disagree. And, uh, um, yeah, yeah, the yeah. montage of him scaring the kids is because his power comes off of the fear. He's building. Yeah. So you have to have the montage. You can't just kill him straight <laughs> off. Show that I they're not scared. Like I went going into this movie thinking, okay, shoot, this is gonna be creepy as is, and it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty creepy. creepy. I was pretty disappointed on it, and I didn't even try to like waste my time with it. Chapter two, like I, I just thought that looks. I just you thought watched it. that one. I was oh, not. It was I, don't I was so I let down by the first it. movie that no. I was completely just like I no, just I, I just I, I was not impressed by it in the end. I was, I was laughing at it. Laughing. Okay. Wow. I will, I will, I'll be fair. I will be fair that Bill Skarsgård is pretty good as Pennywise. Yeah. Like, yes. He's good as that. It's just I. I don't think. I don't think the writers gave him a good script. Mm. Mm. No, no, fair. I, I mean, for me, it like, like Rickon said, I think it has a cool premise where it's like the monster feeds off of fear. It's kind of a cla- It's kind of a classic premise, but at the same time, like it really takes it to the next level. And um, it is like an older story. I mean, it was written by Stephen King in yeah. mm-hmm. I think the eighties or seventies, right? Something like that. Something like that. Can't fact check. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't. I can't verify that. But the book was made in 1986. 86. I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we have a fact right. check. We have a fact check. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Okay. So yeah, it, it is one of the older like horror stories. So it's not like made in the 2010s, which I think kind of give I can get a, give a little yeah. bit of slack for being a little cliche. But I do think it is cool. I like the ending of it a lot. Personally, like I just I don't really like clown movies. Like I'm just like not. A, I'm not a clown, not a clown guy. Um, and how, why are people so scared of clowns? I've never really understood that. Like, why are clown movies scary to people? Clowns started killing people in movies. Maybe their looks. Yeah, yeah it's just I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I've always found that interesting, but. Hmm. Okay. Any more, or should we rank? I say we give it a rating. Deal. Seven point five. Six. I'm gonna say an eight point five. Seven. Five. Okay, and then we have The Shining. I wouldn't really say this is like a horror movie. I'd say it's more like a thriller, kind of. A thriller with, it's like, like, horror. with like horror. Some, yeah. yeah. Um, I really like this movie. It's just, it like, it starts off slow, but then there's, like, when there's, like, a scary part, like, it actually, like, hits yeah. you extra, like, oh, my God. Like, there's that one bathroom scene. Mm-hmm. It's, like, gross, but... And it's like Spooky. so deep in pop culture now yeah. that watching it at at this at this time, it's kind of just watching it and seeing all these moments unfold that I feel like everyone has already kind of watched the movie before they even see it. Exactly. Yeah. So they so feel like right. recreations yeah. of that. So, like, so I would have loved to have seen it like in theaters when it came out. It would have been a whole other experience. But uh, yeah, I just think it's cool how deep in pop culture it is. Probably one of the most um, famous movies of all time. Probably. So like, here's my take on The Shining. So like. 
the only like only much of watch of it is from Ready Player One when they actually go into The Shining, mm-hmm. and so um, Ready Player One practically seen the whole movie then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so have you seen The Shining? Or no? uh, if, if watching Ready Player One counts, then yes. No. Oh, well, that counts in my book personally. It doesn't so, count. So, 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 so yeah, I, I learned there's no zombies in The Shining, which is pretty interesting. Really? Yeah, I know. It's crazy. It that's is crazy. Who would have thought? God, who, who knew that like watching another movie could teach you so much about another movie? Okay, yeah. no, I, uh, I I have seen The Shining. I'm gonna give it NA. Okay. Um, also, the ending where he like He's is like in the breathing. snow. Yeah, that's sick. There's okay. some really good performances in it. Yeah. It's oh, really absolutely. impressive. I feel like yeah, I go back to Benoit. Like everyone knows like Red Rum, like yeah. the room number, <laughs> and then like the Here's Johnny, yeah. all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Iconic forever. The, the two girls too. Yeah, the right, twins. right. Yeah. Twins. Oh, I should have been for Halloween. I would Come play with us. Like, the Shining yeah, is just like. It's oh, like, and then yeah. how they film the tricycle scene so it looks like it's endless hallways yeah. to like. Yeah. Uh, did you know that Stephen okay. King actually hated the, the, the movie The Shining? Yes. yes. I, th- okay. I think that's interesting. Okay, let's okay. go rank right. it. <laughs> I'll give it a solid eight. Nine point five. Nine. I'll give it a nine for the culture. I don't know. I agree with Reagan. Okay. How do you feel about the Blair Witch? I mean, it, it, it's like the first found footage film like it made found footage popular so I feel mm-hmm. like I have to give it a little bit of credit for that as for the movie itself I'm not super high on it so I'm probably give it a 7 for the culture I'll go 7 I'll go 7 I agree with Reagan okay and what are your guys' favorite horror movies favorite horror of all movie? time Aliens Aliens yep Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Hereditary you know, I, I don't really have a favorite horror movie, but I can talk about my favorite movie of all time. No, okay, no, 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 no,